Have y'all ever heard of the theory of general relativity? It's what Einstein is famous for. In his calculations, he started to realize that the universe was not eternal. It had a beginning. Now this leads us to the law of causality. Everything that came to be needs a cause. So Einstein clearly knew that if the universe had a beginning, it needed a cause. Let's go to the Big Bang Theory. There was no space, no time, and no matter before the Big Bang. The universe emerged out of nothingness. What does that mean? Since it's impossible for the universe to be able to create itself because it didn't exist in order to be able to create itself, nature and the universe itself was just a big effect that was caused by, what are we left with? An extremely powerful, extremely intelligent, precise, given the precision that our universe was created with, personal entity that is capable of existing outside of time, space, and matter. That can't be nothing but God. And for people that are like, okay, well, how do you know that it's like Christianity's God? There's only one God, but there's a very famous astronomer named Robert Jastrow. His credentials as a scientist are impeccable. Being agnostic, he's not even a Christian. He said that all of the essential elements of the Big Bang Theory line up with biblical creation because this is how God works. God speaks something and then science runs to catch up with what he said. Science doesn't create anything. Science studies creation. Let me just answer a question that I always get. Who created God? what I say? I said everything with a beginning. Everything that came to be needs a cause. God didn't come to be. God is eternal the way a lot of people thought the universe was until science disproved it. So God doesn't need a cause or a creator. He is the cause. The universe is the effect. Don't just take my word for it. Go look into it for yourself. One more thing. Evidence is not a substitute for faith. Following God is not a matter of evidence or proof. It's a matter of the will. You have to want to do it so you can have the peace that you're looking for. And if you don't want to make that choice, no amount of evidence is going to convince you to. You have to want to.